an option for having bumblebees around the backyard. This is John Young with The Weekend Handyman. Today we're looking at a unique device that's going to give some homes to bumblebees like you've never thought of before. And I've got James from Wildlife World LTD. James, good afternoon. Hello, how are you? Doing well, doing very, very well. Now, we've been talking a little bit about this, this home, and we'll call it a temporary home for a couple of different critters. And this is something I've never heard of before. So you got to kind of bring us up to speed on this this whole <laughs> whole system of housing mammals and bumblebees. Correct. Okay. So what we do is um, at Wildlife World, we always test our products very very well, and we also research the insects, bugs, or mammals which will actually use the products. And what we sort of found out was that bumblebees like to nest in old mammal nests. So for example, if there's an old mouse nest. As soon as, the, as soon as the mice have left, that's when the bumblebees decide to then move in. So what we've designed is we've come up with the ceramic bee step, which is this one just here. And you can see from the entrance hole just here, this is where the mice would actually enter, or the bumblebees. And it's open on the base as well, so they can actually make their own nest in on the ground. Now, what normally happens is with bumblebees, they like to, as I said previously, nest in old mouse nests. So the idea is, is that at the beginning of the season, um, January up to about May is when the mice or the small mammals would move in and create their nest and do their bits. Then as soon as they've left, the idea and concept is the bumblebees will then smell the mouse nest, then the bumblebees will move in, and then they'll keep going up until around about the end of August, which is when the cycle ends for bumblebees. So it's something that basically will repeat every year and, and such as you're kind of transitioning tenants to this little, <laughs> little house. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> so now what's the advantage of having bumblebees around your backyard like that? So with the bumblebees, they're, um, they're great pollinators along with the honeybees. They're not as strong as the solitary bees, but they are still very good. The beauty is with the bumblebee is, A, they're not as um, aggressive as a honeybee would be. Honeybees aren't aggressive in general, but they, are, but they will sting to protect the honey. Now, as bumblebees don't make honey, they're not as aggressive and don't really intend to sting you. But the biggest thing is with the bumblebees, they pollinate in all types of weather. With a honeybee, they'll normally only go out if it's nice and sunny. Uh -huh. If it's raining, everybody stays home because it's raining. But with the bumblebees, if it's raining, they still go out. If it's windy, they go out. Either way, the bumblebee's main mission is just to go out and find pollen for the queen. So in relation to the best option for bumblebees, they're a year, they always pollinate continuously. Hmm. Very. They don't, they don't rely on weather. Very interesting. Now, what about the folks who are going to, you know, the idea of, of, you know, if you're in a rural area and you've got that out in the backyard, what about the idea that that might attract mice that might eventually get into the house? Is that something that might happen? Uh, the best thing to do is if you were to locate the hive at the bottom of your garden situated under a bush, um, if you're going to have mice nesting in your garden, they'll find anywhere, whether it's under your shed, under a gazebo, your decking. Um, the mice will be everywhere. What this product aims to do is do two things. Firstly, it gives the mammal a place to live because everything needs a little house to live in. Mm -hmm. And secondly, it's the best option for you to be able to attract bumblebees. Um, if you're not hope if you don't really care whether you attract bumblebees into your garden, then this product wouldn't be suitable for you. We'd sort of recommend you went down the solitary bee route. Mm. If sure. you do want to attract the bumblebees, from our tests and research, we found out that bumblebees like the mouse nests. Um, so it's one of those sort of a catch-22. Yes, people might not want mice or small mammals in their garden. However, if you want to attract bumblebees, they said the best solution we've come up with so far is old mouse nests. So we're just going by sort of what nature has shown us, really. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. And of course, if they're if they're housing there, they're not they're not coming into the house. So I guess that that makes sense yes, that, that, that there was a yeah. spot for them to uh, to have their residence. Wow, that's some really cool stuff. I did not know that. I learned something today, James. I thank you very much for that. <laughs> if people like to find out more information on, on this, where can they go to get uh, check um, it out? So they can check out all the information on our Facebook page, which is Wildlife World UK, or you can go straight onto our website where we've got a, a website covering all of our products, uh, as well as descriptions about the bugs, insects, and mammals um, that the products could attract, as well as some product and use videos as well. Great, great. And we'll put those links in the description below so you guys can just click and check those out. James, I want to thank you for your time today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. This is John Young with The Weekend Handyman.